Hi, I'm Paris, and I do lament how people don't send cards and letters much anymore, even postcards. And sure, it's kind of a bother to send postcards. Where do they even sell them anymore? And then you got to find a pen. You have to have the address of the person. Where are you going to get stamps or wait in line at the post office? But it's exactly the effort you put into that to send to someone just a little card that says, hey, I was thinking of you. I saw something today. I thought you would think it was funny or interesting. It's like sending a little bit of caring on a card and I miss that. So when you decide to put the effort into sending someone a card, you want to make it something unique, something special for them, something they'll feel special when they open it up. In that vein, I found a company that makes some truly unique, special cards. Now, I actually found the company. It's called Love Pop on my Instagram feed, and I don't know if everyone sees the same ads or somehow they know that I'm into cards and letters and writing, so they showed me these ads. So when you open this company's cards, you'll see just how amazingly cool they are inside. Epic review guys. I've noticed at the drugstore that as they add more features to the cards, including having them play music, the prices are getting up to six, seven dollars a card, which makes the price of these a little more palatable. These Love Pop cards go from ten to thirteen dollars. You can find out more about them at the link down below this video. Now I know what you're saying. Ten to thirteen dollars for a card? Because I said that at first too. I could get a gift for that price. Well, not really, not much of a gift, or you could get an amazingly nice card. So what makes the love pop out of these love pop cards? Well, they are designed and laser cut so that when you open them, an object actually pops up and appears in the card. This is their Christmas bear card, and let's open the card. There is Christmas bear in three dimensions. And when you close the card back up, he flattens right back up. And you can see there's lots of room on both sides with candy canes to write a message in the card. I really like this idea and their execution of it because when someone receives a card that looks like this, they are never going to expect when they open it to see this pop up. Here's another of their Christmas cards. This one is called Holiday Cactus. So cool. And of course, this is a typical Texas Christmas tree. Yeah, not really. My brother's a huge football fan, especially the Seattle Seahawks, so I'm going to send him this card and he never watches my videos, so I don't have to worry about him seeing it in advance here. This is their giraffe card for congratulations on the new baby. Family of giraffes with their new little one. This one is called Beer. I really love what they did with this one. And this smaller card is coffee. This is for my daughter, Roxana's teacher at high school, who's been very supportive of her over the years. Look at that, it is so cool. And on the side here, the little cutout sections where you can put the corners of a coffee gift card. I just love how clever they are in designing these. Now, I'm not going to send these out to everyone on our Christmas list. That would be too expensive. But for the occasional time when you'd like to spend a few extra dollars and send something really nice and unique, I think these are a good choice. Find out more about the Love Pop cards at the link down below this video. And if you don't want to spend $10 on a card to send to someone, you can still get a postcard for 50 cents and write out a little message. Let them know you were thinking about them. Send that little bit of caring on a card. You never know on the day they receive it, it might be just what they needed. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, we give stuff a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.